Good morning, here I am in the shopping capital of Hong Kong, Corzo Bay, and I'm with Arthur Chung, who is the general manager of Pattern Practicology. Uh, and we're gonna do the next episode of 852 Reboot Hong Kong. So let's get started. Arthur. Uh huh. So tell me, you're you're a Hong Kong resident. Yeah, I'm uh, born here. You're born here, great. <laughs> How did you uh, get into e-commerce? What was your journey to e-commerce? Yeah, um, some years ago, maybe 10 or 15, I'm working with uh, for a manufacturer. They would like to have a transformation to go to retail distribution and have their own brand. Finally, we found that e-commerce is the most interesting one. So we migrate that manufacturing company to a factory to e-commerce company and that is where I learned e-commerce. And after that success, um, I believe I can help the Hong Kong community, so become an independent consultant to provide their service to help the Hong Kong brand go into different marketplaces. So one of the issues, um, you know, being in Hong Kong, is that people always say, as you can see from us, around us, mm -hmm. is e-commerce doesn't work in Hong Kong. Um, um, do you agree with this? Um, maybe Hong Kong, Hong Kong is still quite happy with the retail space, we are happy to have uh, shopping as our leisure activities, but e-commerce is still the destination. You can see that uh, in every country, every city, uh, e-commerce is still the growing part of the, reta of the uh, retail. Uh, Hong Kong also similar. We just um, shift there uh, slightly, but if we ask the youngsters, they order um, Teenagers, they do spend a lot of time in e-commerce, uh, buying the toys from the States, from Japan, or even tra uh, buying the stuff from Alibaba, the mar different marketplaces, right? So we have Alibaba in Hong Kong, obviously. Uh, um, mm -hmm. Let's get to Alibaba later. I'm just mm -hmm. curious. So you just mentioned the cross-border, the whole cross-border mm -hmm. concept, that yeah. um, people here buy from China, from mm -hmm. Korea, from, from across Japan, the world. Yeah. Where do you see the whole, you know, cross-border is a very interesting idea, concept from e-commerce e mm -hmm. and uh, you do a lot in this space. Maybe you can explain how this works and the role of Hong Kong in the cross-border trade. Uh, Hong Kong, the beauty of Hong Kong in this area is that we are a tax-free port and we don't have much uh, legal restriction on all the cross-border stuff. So uh, having Hong Kong being the hub to trade in between country, always interesting. Um, you may find that there are some Hong Kong based company uh, trading the electronics from Asia to the state or to the European country to, to make their profit. And vice versa, some company are buying the US supplement, the Australian cosmetic to China to make their profit. So it's a good place to do business, definitely. And you're now, your, your company originally, Practicology, was a, a UK, Australian kind of company. Mm -hmm. right. And you've been acquired by an American company, yeah. Patton, right? Yeah. So how does that change the, the offering, the chemistry? Is it, has your business moved towards helping Americans get into to China, to Southeast Asia? What's the difference here? Mm, I would say now um, we are one of the biggest e-commerce consulting and trading company in the world. Uh, we do have the offices all over the world in different continents. So we are helping different international brands to go into China in my uh, scope, business scope. But uh, on the same, at the same time, we are also helping the Hong Kong and China brands to go into other countries, a uh, similar case. So talking about going into other countries, Alibaba you know, is a giant platform mm -hmm. in China. Mm -hmm. They're listed uh, in the States mm -hmm. and they're about to list in this great city, Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. We're just going to put us up there in the rankings for IPOs. Mm -hmm. How do you think uh, that will change the way that people look at marketplaces? Because I know that the Chinese marketplaces, you know, are expanding. Mm -hmm. Alibaba has acquired Lazada, mm -hmm. various Southeast Asian mm -hmm. uh, investments in mm -hmm. India. Mm -hmm. How will that affect the whole kind of e-commerce business here in Southeast Asia? Mm, um, I would say Asia. Um, the giant, Alibaba, uh, definitely one of the dominant marketplaces. And marketplaces is one of the touch points that the brands or the uh, retailer cannot be missed. But at the same time, uh, we always recommend our 
client to consider their own direct to customer side to own the customer data, customer the loyal customer themselves. Um, some kind somehow the Alibaba market marketplaces will be the gateway for you to attract the new customer to your brand to introduce just like the shopping mall you put your retail shop there to attract the customer it become more and more in interesting and important what I what I like about you is you're is very practical about um, how a brand should get into a market and you know there's mm -hmm. a lot of people who say you must go to Alibaba, you must go to Jingdong, mm -hmm. you must go to the marketplaces. Uh -huh. But you're very adamant about direct to customer. Why? Yeah. Why why do you think this is so important? What is the benefit of having a direct to customer website? A customer to di uh, direct to customer web website ability is you can own the customers directly. You will own all the customer data which marketplaces cannot give you. You definitely would like to see how your customer interact with your product, in, interact with your storefront, and then you know which color, which size, which style will be the, something that they like or they love. Then you can enhance your offering. Then it's the road for your success, right? So you're saying it's the data side, right? Yeah. It's, it's the relationship. Yeah. What about social commerce? We, we read a lot, we see a lot about social commerce. Mm -hmm. Is that, do you assume, do you count that as direct to customer or where do you see the role of social commerce? Social commerce um, is the channel that um, your uh, friends or the people will recommend the products to your potential customers where they pr finally purchase. That is depends on how you plan the journey for the customer. If you plan it to your direct to customer side, it will be one of the channels bring business to your uh, own shops. If you how if you if the journey is bring the customer to the marketplaces then you will bring the customer to Alibaba in Jingdong that is your decision right uh, but no matter what in Asia social uh, commerce is critical uh, our client always got a lot of success through this channel rather than just doing the me media promotion and marketing and advertisement excellent so we've got a uh, little time left you got time for two plugs. What would you like to promote? Uh, first, every retailer, please try your best to understand the e-commerce space. It's something you need to know about for the futures. Uh, you can either join our workshops or join other suppliers. Um, and where do they find workshops. you? What's your domain name? Um, Practicology.com. Last yeah. plug, last plug. Um, Consider Hong Kong as a hub. Uh, Hong Kong may be not that big, but if we can be the hub for the Asia for the for, uh, to go into China, there's a huge of opportunity. Great, thanks very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.